Temperature wise, what we need to accomplish is getting rid of the clouds, right? It's been kind of gloomy the last few days uh, and we're doing that and we're going to do it tonight into tomorrow morning. Reason why we've got drier air coming in from the north. That drier air started yesterday, but it just it's slowly eroding this cloud cover. But what you'll notice tonight, temperatures right now, upper 30s, low 40s. What you'll notice tonight is going to be cooler tonight and waking up tomorrow morning than it has been previous mornings. We've been in the 40s. There's your north wind doing that. We've been in the 40s. We're back into the 30s tonight, so we're back to kind of that wintry feel. You see as we go through time, Models liking to clear us out. I think it's going to take a little bit longer than that, but again, we're going to have some sunshine tomorrow morning. We're near freezing mark to start the day. We've had a little bit of rain down towards the south. That's clearing on out. This is part of a bigger system down towards Kentucky and Tennessee. You can see just wave number three of the atmospheric river of rain that's been just plaguing areas is down towards Tennessee, although they need it. It's just been gloomier down there. But for us, that drier air slowly coming in. This is our next system tomorrow. This is Friday system comes in late day. There's not much with this. This will expand on radar tonight, but as it moves in, there's not a lot of dynamics with this. So we're talking rain, maybe a little bit of wet snow, and this is for your Friday evening plans. It kind of aligns with that. So keep that in mind. National Design Mart hour by our forecast. Look at that clearing us out tonight. I think this is very optimistic, but again, I do say I, I'll go partly sunny tomorrow. How about that? Clouds will increase as we go throughout the day, though. So we'll start with some sun. We'll eventually lead to some clouds. Here's eight, nine o'clock, bringing in some showers, eventually mixing with a little bit of wet snow in spots that would favor our northeastern counties where we're coolest. Not expecting any accumulation. Overall, that moisture kind of sits around Saturday, so we'll have more clouds on Saturday. Still in the 40s, maybe a spotty shower out east, but not a bad day. As we go through time, what we've been dealing with is this moisture-rich subtropical flow way out of the South Pacific. That's why we've got clouds, moisture, fog, right? We're going to change that. We need something to kind of kick that out. It's this little feature here in the Gulf of Alaska. This comes into the Pacific Northwest. It's going to be a monster storm for them. Look at this thing as it hits Monday. Heavy mountain snow, rain, wind. Eventually, it'll come into the Rockies Monday, Tuesday, out into the Plain States, and that's when it comes into our neck of the woods, grabs cold air, brings it down by next weekend. That's the thinking on this. More specifically, as we go through time, as this low develops, this will likely turn into a blizzard across areas of northern plains. They're talking feed of snow, strong winds. We could have a severe weather outbreak with tornadoes on the southern end. This is going to be a doozy next week. For us, we get the rain on Thursday. Cold air comes in by Friday with scattered snow showers, maybe some lake effect Friday, Saturday, as it looks right now. We'll continue to track that storm. That's our big pattern changer. Until then, Union Home Mortgage 7 day forecast keeps us generally in the 40s and dry Monday, Tuesday out ahead of that system, Wednesday, Thursday next week.